Hello. I have a few foreign coins here in front of me. And while I do love my American coins, um, I have a great passion for exotic foreign coins as well. And today I wanted to show you one specific piece. Which is this particular coin here. It is a 5 lira from the Kingdom of Italy from 1870. It has been minted under King Vittorio Emanuele II. These type of coins, these type of coins have been minted from 1868 until the death of Vittorio Emanuele II in 1878. There also have been different mints that used to issue them. And this coin represents a lot of history for not only the Italian Kingdom but for Europe as well. There's so much to say about it but I'm going to keep it very simple. A few interesting facts that I can tell you about this coin and is the ruler of Italy, Vittorio Emanuele II, is that he was the first king of a unified Italy since the 6th century. Now that's, that's a long time. Six, since the 6th century, Italy did not have a ruler for a unified kingdom. He ruled Italy from 1861 until his death in 1878. Interestly, interestingly, his wife, Maria Teresa from Austria, was the great-great-granddaughter from the Empress Maria Teresa, which was the last ruler of the House of Habsburg. I always find it fascinating how royal families and bloodlines in European history are so interconnected. Before Vittorio became the ruler of, or the king of Italy, he was the king of Sardinia. And here is an interesting numismatic fact about this. If you do end up find, finding um, coins of Sardinia bearing Vittorio Emanuele II um, in the raw, in the wild, and you ha you, you're being offered them for a decent price, you can almost never go wrong with it, because they have a very low mintage, and especially in high-grade examples, they can be worth in the thousands. That's something a lot of people don't know about. But I just wanted to share that little info with you guys. I bought this coin about maybe a year ago. And these coins are quite difficult to find in uncirculated examples. So when I was looking at that time online, I, um, the cheapest that I've seen them offered was for around $300 uh, certified in an uncirculated grade. But I really didn't want to spend that much money for a coin like this. So I decided to look for a raw piece. I do understand the pricing behind of it. Europe during that time was um, very very busy. There was a lot of war going on. So these coins have been actively used in trade a lot. Now if you do find that this is a cool coin, you can get it for fairly cheap in a low-end grade. 
but I just wanted a higher graded example. So I went looking and I found this one. I ended up spending um, about $90 for it, which I think was a really, really good price. And I'm very happy with it. However, you know, it's often very difficult to grade a coin just from pictures, especially online. A lot of sellers, they're not professional photographers, so sometimes the picture will not have, um, will not honestly show the coin. And um, if you don't really know what you're looking for, then I would definitely recommend that you buy a certified coin because you might be really disappointed if you spend a lot of money, let's say like $100 on a 5 lira coin like this and it ends up being a problem coin that has been cleaned or it's just an extra fine and he was looking for an AU grade and so on and so on. Especially this type is quite difficult because of the way this, the coin is struck and the, the, the details. Um, it is it is very hard to grade just just from the pictures so um, and another problem is that a lot of times I see that there's a lot of overpriced coins um, for example you'll see lots of coins with problems or just a lower extra fine grade being offered for above $70 and this is not really what I'm looking for um, so you always have to be careful if you if you do buy a coin raw if you're not certain about it and it's really hard to be certain even I am never 100% certain if I buy a coin raw then I'll just stick to to certified pieces but in this case I got lucky and I'm really happy with it so I think that's a very cool coin and I hope you enjoyed this video um, I do have a lot more to show you guys and like I said there's so much history behind it and maybe that's that's um, that's a another thing for another video but for now thank you guys for watching and Enjoy the rest of your day or your evening or whatever you guys are doing. Thank you.